The Transport Research Laboratory, TRL, is an independent organisation which looks at the latest technologies in car and road manufacturing. Researchers are working with the Department of Transport to identify the noisiest roads in Britain. They operate a machine called Triton, which measures tyre noise on road surfaces. So far, the machine has travelled and analysed 2,000 miles of British road. There's a tyre located in a, in a soundproof chamber at the back. The tyre measures it in the wheel track where most of the noise is generated. We've got a bank of microphones around this tyre, so as Triton rolls along the road, we can measure the noise as it changes as it runs over the different types of road surfaces. Now, you might think, well, Triton on its own can measure the noise that's going on, so, so do we need anything else? The problem is there is that because noise is related to the speed, Triton has to measure a number of different speeds to get, you know, build up the complete uh, profile of, of how the noise is changing. To be truly accurate, it also has to measure with a number of different tyres, because one tyre might not reflect how, the, how the, uh, the noise is changing on the different surfaces. The Triton method is time consuming. The test depends on tyre and speed, confusing the comparison between road surfaces. Now TRL has come up with a new system, which simply monitors the noise absorption of a road surface and allows for much clearer comparisons. What we did was develop this new system, the Myriad trailer, which mounts a microphone and a speaker on the trailer, which we can drive along the road surface, firing pseudo-random sound pulses at the road surface, measuring the reflections that come back, uh, it's a bit of signal processing and we can actually measure the sound absorption in situ. The advantage of this technology is that it could provide the clearest and most accurate data on the state of Britain's roads. But the Transport Research Laboratory is looking at the qualities of a variety of different road surfaces. Hot rod asphalt is the surface that most people would associate with motorways. It's the surface that covers most of the UK motorways at the moment. It's tended to be used because it uses fairly small amounts of the most high quality aggregate, you know, the stone that we use to, to improve the skinning resistance. However, it's, it's clearly not the, the quietest and, and so there's a, a lot of ro uh, road surfaces that have been developed recently to uh, lower the noise levels on the, on the motorway network. One of these is stone mastic asphalt, or SMA, which is a very, very dense mix of road surface. It tends to use a, a slightly smaller chip in size. It's developed to be rut resistant, uh, so it stands up to trucks in our summers, uh, uh, and it uh, generally has very, very low noise levels. The alternative, uh, there's a, a range of, for example, thin surfacing, like the coal soft that we have on the test track. One aspect of the coal soft, which is particularly interesting, is it contains crumb rubber, uh, within the mix of, of the material. Uh, very, very fine particles of recycled tyre are actually incorporated into the mix. Uh, it's not known yet whether this actually provides any additional noise benefit, but it certainly uses up some of the tyres. The one downside of materials such as coal soft, which contain you know, this porosity, is the fact that they do tend to uh, clog up uh, over a period of years. So they tend to lose a bit of their noise reducing properties and therefore they often have to be maintained and replaced slightly earlier than conventional dense servicings. 